Hi guys, welcome to this system. It's actually a new one. It's called Left WM and it will be our next desktop. The topic is actually AMD drivers, not Left WM, but it's uh, a good test for me to see how it records and I know already that is without lagging. Now screen tearing, so that's cool. I'm remaking the video because the sound was a little bit low. Forgot to set, of course, the settings. Control Alt U. Right, and you have to tell the system how big it needs to be. It was like here and needs to be like 150 percent. So all good now. Topic of the video is controlled F AMD. If you are in need of help, assistance, technical stuff, it's always gonna be Arch Wiki, right? Arch Wiki, Arch Linux and so on. You keep on typing words, terms that you know. In this case, AMD. And go and have a look what's the result. We have AMD GPU, there is a Ryzen thing, and there is information, a package name here, and hybrid graphics, Intel AMD, and Arch Linux. Keep reading, keep finding, and keep learning technical words. You can't Google anything or can't DuckDuckGo anything if you don't have the technical terms. You need to know more words. So AMD GPU is probably going to be the first thing to go to, right? Open source graphics, graphics driver for AMD, Radeon graphics cards and so on. You keep on reading, reading all the links that are in here should be read by you. So what needs what's another tip let's go for tips at the bottom there's always archwiki intel archwiki nvidia archwiki amd or ati or ryzen at the bottom often there is a troubleshooting right let's hope you've bought hardware that just works out of the box and many do right but you might be in not in not have that luck and um, next time around you'll buy hardware that's supported for Linux. You can do that. You can do prior to in buying hardware, know already what issues you'll run into and how to solve them or buy hardware that has no issues. Thing is, you need to troubleshoot now. If you bought the machine, it's too late and you need to troubleshoot. So down here, you'll find information about screen tearing, maybe about um, any other, other problems you might uh, have, screen artifacts, they call it here, frequency problems. I do remember some people asking about frequency, 144 hertz and another 60 hertz and so on, right? So it's going to be in here, it's going to be technical, so you need to learn about all these things, kernel parameters and so on. But then in the end, that's the goal probably of Arch Linux as, as well, right? Learn and have, have fun by looking into your hardware and machine and know what your machine is, how your machine is, how it works, functionality and all that. But it can be tricky, can be difficult as well. But uh, yeah, it's entirely depending on the hardware you've bought, simple as that. So find out what you need. The other tip I would give you is the following. Arclinx is just Arch Linux, 90%. 5, 4, 5% is then Arconix configurations like this one, left WM, this is it, right? This is our config. So we have our keyboard shortcuts and so on. And then there is 4, 5% is AOR, right? So always look at solutions proposed by Arch Linux based systems. I'm not saying Arch Linux, but more, right? Endeavor OS, there is so many more, Archcraft, so many Arch-based systems. It's all about choosing the right package. Pieces of the puzzle, the Lego boxes, right? Lego blocks better. Um, so when you want to make a distribution that can be used by many, many people, so meaning lots of hardware, you try to install things that, um, well, help people. And there are these XF86 things. So the video things in particular, they are installed at this point in time on, on our machine. Now, whether you want them or not, or need them or not, that's something else, right? You 
have to think, okay, what did I buy? I've, I've bought an Intel, I've bought an AMD, I've bought, eh? what did you buy? So things that you don't need, you can remove them. And that's one of the videos I've made already online. Check it out. Check it out what happens if you, before you go for the real metal kind of thing, right? Play around first with driver and say, okay, let's get rid of. So R is remove. That's maybe a little bit too big. So S is install and R is remove. See what happens if you remove that package. Choose one, reboot, everything fine. Another package, reboot, everything fine, and so on. And at some point in time, you'll just know, I don't need any drivers. For instance, in this machine, this is an Intel computer system here, CPU Intel, GPU Intel. I don't need anything, anything, right? Not even the video Intel. Everything is covered in the Linux kernel. The Linux kernel knows also hardware. So test this out on every machine you've got. What should I install where? And you can, can, can keep all of this because I'm lazy, right? I, I just keep everything on here and it works fine for me. But there are machines where it doesn't work fine, where the video Intel is really, well, breaking the system. In a, it's, it's a black screen and people need to remove it and then now suddenly everything comes back to life. So that's your job. In the beginning, figure out but that particular computer needs the NVIDIA card. We haven't talked about that, right? NVIDIA driver. And there's an NVIDIA 340 driver and 390 driver. <laughs> it's a complex world. But once you've figured it out, it's easy. It's easy peasy. Because that machine needs this, that machine needs that, that machine is that. Done. All right. So now I've given more an overview of the video rather than sticking to AMD. But there is more, right? There is much more in the system here. So let's make it complete then. Intel is here. And the other guy is Nvidia. And then you've got it all. And that's what you need to figure out. What will I apply on what machine? And we don't need, you don't have to uh, install the Nvidia drivers, so the proprietary drivers from NVIDIA. You can keep to the nouveau drivers, just the ones from the kernel. So it, it is, it all matters what you want to do with your system. I want a game on it or not and stuff like that. But it's, um, it's an interesting world. It's also something that we support in the sense that Arc Linux is a learning distribution, right? We want to learn, we want to figure out how it all fits together, how it works. And the Arch Wiki is, is a great tool, and that's of course the reason that I started um, Arch Linux as a project, because I want to learn myself. So join us in learning, but use the Arch Wiki and be smart about it. So why not try to remove some of the drivers, see what happens, and then say, okay, I do need AMD GPU on my machine. And the other one, you don't need it, right? It's really um, trial and error. There's nothing wrong with trial and error. That's called learning. All right, have fun.